morning, boys and girls, friends and family, followers, subscribers. Hope everybody is doing fantastically well this Sunday morning, May the 17th. We are six days past my birthday, but it's still my birthday month, and I am celebrating the entire month since we are on quarantine, or, well, semi-lockdown, I don't know. Some stuff is open at 25% capacity, but you know what we're doing today? We're going to estate sales. Because we got a wallet full of cash, and that's what we do. We buy stuff to resell. That's that's my business model. So anyway, we are headed to Watauga, Texas, and then we're going to Argyle, Texas. Uh, the estate sale in Argyle is... Ah, I got a lot of stuff we got to take to the shop. Um, the estate sale in uh, Argyle is of some famous author uh, who has passed away. I forget what her name was. It starts with a J. Anyway, we're going to go up there. So that stuff is probably, since she's a published author and has several books out, I'm sure that the estate sale company is, even though it's the last day of the sale, they're going to think everything is made of gold because somebody who is mildly famous owned it. I mean, hell, when I die, everything's. I, I want. I want everything to be sold at the highest value because I owned it. So I don't really have a whole hell of a lot. So just some furniture in my house. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Bob is picking up his son Jake, and they are going to be listing some stuff on the eBay. And actually, I should probably drop some of this off. Some of the stuff off to them. Because I have some in my car that uh, that needs to go out there. So, hope everybody uh, has enjoyed the auctions. Last night's auction with Emily Conway was absolutely fantastic. I appreciate everybody who came out and showed support for her and myself. Excuse me. She is just an absolute delight. Lovely young lady. Does a number of things. She does the reselling. She also does the intro and outro videos. Uh, that she can create. Um, she created one for me. I can't, but I don't know how. It's on my computer, and I do all my videos and uploading and everything onto my phone. And I don't, I, I'm not a technologically savvy type of guy. So, getting it over and then converting it and compressing it, whatever it has to be done to it, so then I can add it to my videos is... Uh, I've tried it several times. It's I'm a man of very, very little patience. <laughs> so I just want stuff done. So I sometimes find it easier just to pay somebody to do that kind of stuff for me. So anyway, um, hope everybody's had a good weekend. Hope everybody's ready for Monday. Um, we have our last auction tonight. Not our last auction, but the last auction of the week. Uh, tonight, what is going on in the back there? Um, our auction will start at eight thirty. We'll hopefully go till about one thirty, um, and then everything that has sold Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday will get shipped out tomorrow. Um, Everything does get shipped out. We have been experiencing some issues with the postal service. I mean, but that's everybody. Uh, you know, the amount of e-commerce business that has been going on since the quarantine uh, has vastly surpassed the infrastructural capabilities of the United States Postal Service. Yeah, I was talking to, not the postmaster, but one of the lead postal people at my local one. And he said that like 25% of all postal employees, they're, I guess they're taking reduced hours. I don't know how to, he explained it, that they can work up to like 20 hours a week and get, um, unemployment because of uh, 
I don't know. I, I, I don't even have a job. I don't file unemployment. I just hustle and grind. Um, and rewind, as our good friend the Swords Arch Pirates does. So, I've gotten no stimulus check. I've gotten no unemployment benefits. I just, uh, I'm out here rubbing two nickels together to make a dollar. <clears throat> like a lot of people are and a lot of you guys that watch this are also resellers and you guys have the same uh, attitude and and work ethic that uh, a lot of us share and that desire to to be our own boss and to be self-reliant and self-sufficient um, it's a great feel there's no better feeling knowing that I can make my mortgage payment, my car payment, pay all my bills, have some spending money, and live a lifestyle that I I enjoy, and not have to report to somebody who doesn't really care about anybody but the company. I'm not talking about individuals, but I'm saying companies as a whole. Um, Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to some estate sales. I'll catch some video for you. and Because uh, I know you guys don't want to sit through a 45 minute long video like today's video. Uh, but we will uh, talk, talk to you in a second. Alright, let's see what we got. How you doing? Good, yourself? All right. So if you see something you like, it's not marked. We'll get tip price, but all of these things are 50 50 percent off. Good got deal. CD burners there, fifteen dollars. I got got a karaoke machine right there, twenty bucks. That's a hundred hundred fifty dollar karaoke machine. We got all kinds of little cars. Those are AMC American Racing Classics. Auto World. Huh. Those are all twenty dollar cars. Three and three, four dollars. Got a bunch of phone company piggy banks over here. Right on. Everything in the house is for sale, including the furniture. Yeah, hey, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, those are cool. $450. Holy shit. Yeah, there was a uh, there was a 
They're sure proud of everything, aren't they? this coach is. your own puzzle. Hmm. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off because I got to look up some comps. Okay, so that estate sale was a complete and utter waste of time, money, and resources to a point. Like, I tried to show you guys some prices of, of some of the stuff that they had in there. $90 for for three stainless steel candlesticks um, <laughs> like literally they were wanting I comped a couple of things they were wanting about 20% over retail and then you know they're having a 50% off sale today but, but we some of the 50% uh, off was still like on the collectibles like they wanted sixty dollars for one of those airplanes that comps at thirty five dollars on eBay. I, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could have got it for thirty. <laughs> There's just no no money to be made. I mean, they are. I mean, I don't I don't blame them. I guess, but if you look at the pictures on EstateSales.net and the pictures on this, um, ninety percent of the stuff is still there. It. Uh, they haven't sold anything uh, from what the pictures are on on the website so that just tells me that they are way overpriced on everything and uh, 
nothing has sold. So, but I did buy a JVC and a Sony uh, VHS DVD burner combos. Uh, one with remote, one without. Uh, the one with remote is a Sony. It's about a two hundred and ten dollar one. Uh, the JVC, if it had the remote, it's about two sixty. Uh, so I'm gonna try and see if I can find a remote on eBay or Amazon for ten bucks, uh, and then uh, put it together. So I am going to go off to the next one. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, y'all. I am at the uh, estate sale of some famous author. Uh, the house looks kind of cool, but all the windows appear to have plastic over them. I, I am confused, but uh, I will let you guys be the judge. Let me uh, get out here and we'll, we'll start walking. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film in here, as usual. So, here's the house. Everything's like covered in plastic. Well, you should not understand. But I'm gonna cut this off real quick before I get inside. Okay, everybody. So I am here, and uh, I had a guy following me around, so I didn't do any filming. So I'm going to uh, kind of give you guys a little walkthrough. I'm in a closet right now. Uh, so, I should say, you know, walk in closet. So, here we go. Alright, check that side. There's some cool stuff. It's a beautiful house. Kind of a southwestern ranch type of thing. So, I looked at most of the stuff. It's a really cool bar. Let me know what you think. Some beach. I do not own the rights to this music that is playing for the record. I've already gone through this. If I miss anything, let me know. This has intrigued me. I don't know what this is. Giant terracotta bowl of some sort. I do not want to write to this music either. this over here on my shelf. These lead weights interest me. I don't know. They said they found them in their socks. So like it made for weapons or something. Is this lady right here is in the school? But you need to price. Oh, is he going to price it still? Oh, I just need to see what it was. 
Let's see, did I miss anything? Oh. I can get these for me and my sister. Delton and Jenny. Hey ladies, want the D? <laughs> I got jokes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm getting ready to leave the uh, this estate. Beautiful house, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so Jane Roberts Wood was the, the name of the author. Uh, her hu husband was Judson. I picked up a bunch of uh, frame certificates for like the Texas Society of Petroleum Engineers, uh, stuff like that. Some some uh, like diplomas and and. Uh, certificates and whatnot so those might sell uh, they're pretty cool they're all from the 60s and 70s um, I made him an offer if you guys seen that uh, teak bar and those cha those bar stools in front the, the the bar collapses in on itself so it's just like one cube they had three hundred dollars on it and the chair the bar stools the swivel bar stools were twenty dollars a piece so that would have made $150, that made $180. I made him an offer of $100. Uh, he's like, well, I don't know. I have him on consignment, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, well, I'll take that as a no then. So I bought $50 worth of stuff. These blue tubs, these will help me uh, organizing for our auction so I can put stuff in them rather than just hand it to Bob and we just stack it more on the table. So uh, that'll help a little bit. And I got uh, I got a really really cool uh, is it cross stitch or needlepoint from uh, late 1800s early 1900s. Uh, it was framed, it was hanging on the wall. Uh, they had twenty dollars on it, so I paid ten dollars for it. I'm hoping uh, one of my good YouTube friends, uh, Amber at Ooh Ah Crochet, or maybe uh, Sue Reed at uh, watch me sew creations uh, maybe they'll be interested in that piece um, if not then I will give it to my mom and that man needs to pull the crack kill sir please pull up your pants good lord nobody needs to see that I'm waiting on Jed Clampett here to uh, get out the way so so I can uh, <laughs> I can drive forward and parked in like a circle. So, um, that's it. I'm not going to go to any more states. I got to get home. I got to prepare the uh, preview video. Actually, that's what I'll do. I'll just add the preview pictures to the end of this video. So, I will, uh, I will see you guys in a second. And, uh, remember, auction starts at 8.30 tonight. Much love. Talk to you in a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Clampets. They have got that thing jenged all together. That is quite the packing job. Now, if Granny just sits on the back on one of them chairs and go down the road, it'd be just like uh, Beverly Hillbillies. All right, so on my way home, I decided, you know what? I haven't been to the Goodwill at Saginaw yet, so I'm gonna stop in here real quick and see if I can find some treasure. Some people found treasure already. I'm just gonna act like I'm 
streaming with somebody and talking to them. So that way, you know, you guys will understand. So, hello. So, let's just go forth and find some treasure, shall we? All right, this one is completely set up different than the one by my house, so I have to get adjusted to it. I do not own the copyright, so this news act. It's kind of loud, so I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on when uh, I find something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. I did not do any more filming in the uh, Goodwill as I didn't really find anything. Um, found some kids' toys that uh, will sell at the auction, and uh, that's about it, really. So it'll be a surprise if I sell them at the auction tonight. All right, much love to you. And remember, please share your smile freely without reservation to everybody come across. The world does need a little more positive energy out there. And uh, your smile could be the only bit of inspiration and the only bit of sunshine in somebody's day. With that, much love. And uh, we'll see you at the auction.